Ah, yes, my boys. The time has finally come. YT Dan is back again to report a 70% win rate in Diamond Ranked. You see, because now more than ever, my system applies. The will in this stage of dueling is very low. I find duelists that have been in the Platinum Ranks to be duelists of such tenacious caliper that they never quit. But these guys are broken by Maxi, Ash, and maybe a little bit extra. All right, first deck up for punishment, your favorite. Snake Eye, Fire King, uh, uh, Ash, whatever that deck is called, your favorite. And it looks like the duelist will be going first. Now, if you've noticed in this opening hand, what's different about YT Dan's opening hand? In the previous video, you saw that I abandoned the powers of the hand trap. But now, in this video, I embrace the power of the hand trap. But I still take the position of second. And why is that? Because I have built a deck to go second, and I'm showing you the versatility. I'm showing you the power of the go second stratagem. Now, our opponent begins with telegraphing. He shows us the bonfire and tells us he's on Snake Eye. We know that this has been limited to one, so he's cooked. We know that this card is limited to two, and this is the only target, so he's cooked. And let's continue. So because we have Ash, uh, Valor, and Maxi, I'm gonna play it in the order of Valor, Ash, and Maxi. Only because the way the deck is set up, I want him to invest as many resources as possible before I commit anything. So basically, I want to get one for one trades and then lock in for Maxi for maximum tempo control. So here we go. He activates the effect. I'm gonna use the Vela. So Vela's great because going second, the card is alive. So that's why, you know, you don't go first with Vela. Very, very good card. Then he activates the island. So I send his vacation grounded. There will be no flights to Fire King Island today. Then he goes into the special Shokun. Now, want to point out really quick right here, something really cool. Basically, what I did to rule this duel was toggle off. By toggling off in this moment, my opponent felt comfortable to search his deck for this card. And by setting this card face down, he's going to flip it face up and activate it. But as I told you, like a spider who has cast a mighty web, or like a gladiator in the sands of the Colosseum, the Retiarius, casting his mighty net so that the opponent cannot escape. Go, Retiarius, throw, Maxi! So, with the power of Maxi, we're locked in. And he's not going to be able to win a resource race with this deck after blowing his normal summon and also activating two of his most powerful once per turns. Actually, three of his most powerful once per turns. There's no recovering from this Maxi situation. So I draw into Brick City, of course. And then he draws. And then... Now, what's dangerous to this guy, he doesn't know that I have three, six, nine, maybe 10 cards to affect back row. The odds are against you, my boy. Your back row will be deleted. So, we go for the draw. And I get... <laughs> so, the rule on evenly matched is... Now, I don't know what anyone will tell you. There's a lot of good opinions out here on this card. But I'm going to tell you, this, this is my opinion. If you found Evenly Matched to be a compatible, synergistic card for your deck, if you draw it, you play it. You don't question it, my boy. Evenly Matched. Let's get even Steven. And look at him. He's so hungry, he kept his chicken. <laughs> so then we begin our fractal ritual. We begin to sort through the cards. And, you know, he's like, man, I'm out of here. I mean, I'd leave, too, if I was down in resources and my tempo was so low. My boys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to take the time right now to shout out our sponsor, 
Lightning Storm. When you're a go second player, there's no card better than Lightning Storm. Look how easy it can be applied. When the opponent sets four in the back row, activate your Lightning Storm. Link in the description below. Now, my boys, you're going to come up to my last two favorite duels, Cash Tira, and we're going to actually fight against the powers of Rome. We're going to fight against the Centurions, and we're going to escape today with the freedom for the Gladiator Beast. All right, now let's get in there on this Cash Tira deck. So I opened with double Dark Ruler No More. That's, you know, unfortunate for me. As you can see, I have this new setup with the hand traps and everything. So obviously, this is disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. Cash Tira Man is Cash Tira Man. He begins to do his Cash Tira plan. But in this deck, you will see one of Spartacus's new weapons. You will see one of my new stratagems that I will unleash. And truly, the spirit of Augustus will be proud. And one day, will raise to Dominus. Now, anytime I play against this deck, the only part that makes me nervous is the three top card face down banishing. Based on probability, I have a strong chance of this missing, but we also check and we have Maxi, Heavy Storm and Imperm. I have been not blessed to play Heavy Storm yet. My Heavy Storm keeps getting banished or irrelevancy. But uh, let, me, let me know in the comments. Have y'all been playing Heavy Storm yet? Has it been getting in there for y'all? But uh, let's go ahead and continue this man's turn because, you know, this Dark Ruler, we're going to be out of here. So this is honestly one of the most terrifying boards of all time. Uh, back in the day when I was first getting into this game, pause this cook for one second, please. Back in the day when I was getting back into this game, I was really afraid of this deck. And, and there was a lot of fear mongering on this deck, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing here today. You see, I must duel with the power of the gladiator beast with an arcane ancient meta, with an arcane ancient archetype from time immemorial. From eons ago, I must duel with this ancient deck. And I must win and defeat these new powers for one reason and one reason only. For you. For you, my duelists. Because if I can do it with this deck, you can do it with any deck. You can do it with a meta deck. You can do it with this deck. You can do it with your own deck. But if I can do it with this one, I've opened up the doors for victory for all duelists. For I am Spartacus. And these are my weapons. Let us go. Now, he's going to begin his combo. And I allowed him to summon this card because I know that I've got the weapons to defeat him. You might be looking at my hand like, you fool. How could your gladiation defeat such a field as this? I'll show you because I never miss. First, we dank ruler no more. No ruling over here. And we're down one zone, actually. So we summon the rescue cat. And now we go into the new stratagem. You did not know this about my deck. I purposely did not reveal it until now. And if you peeped, shame. Listen, did you know that the Samnite was the very first gladiator? The very first gladiator brought into Rome, brought into the Colosseum. And through his amazing powers, we have harnessed the one card combo of Dragasis. By summoning Rescue Cat, we can use the effect to search our deck for double Samnite. With two Samnite, we can link two to the power. We open up the circuit and be quiet. We won't have any interruptions. No interruptions from the Cash Tira Menace. Now, right now, I'm on one card. I want you to know that I'm on one card. I played Dark Ruler no more. I negated his entire field. But right now, my gladiator combo is on one card. And I have yet to special summon or use any of my Tri Brigade cards. Now, is it not a gladiator beast deck now? Is there not enough gladiator beast in this deck? Is it not performing at the highest levels against the most disgusting opponents around? Are you entertained yet? 
hit that goddamn like button. Attack my gladiator beast. Now, Dragasis effect activates, allowing me to special summon two gladiator beast monsters. And by putting them on the field, I'm going to tag them out for the manager and editor of these games. The tamer editor. Now, he brings forth Domitianus. And the Tri-Brigade combination begins. Because now that Domitianus is on the field, there is nothing that you can do. No Nibiru. Nothing that you can activate from your hand. And since they have monsters on the field, there will be no impermanence. Not even God can save you now. Now my ritual will begin. By activating the Tri-Brigade line. And summoning Karas. Then. I'll be banishing four cards from the graveyard to bring in Shurig, the ominous omen. And if you aren't tilted yet, it's gonna get even more disgusting. Shurig, the ominous omen. Banish, banish. Shh, Kashtira. Silence. Silence. Now, Link two. Come on out. Testu Penta. Time to open the bestiary games. Hmm. Do you enjoy the beast hunt? Because it's just begun, and we're hunting the Cash Terra Menace. From my hand, I bring forth the Tamer Editor. Nani? Oh. I was a fool. Due to the lack of exposure to the Cash Tira Menace, I forgot to read this particular card. By activating a spell or trap, he can send three cards to the graveyard. At some point, I could have potentially triggered it with this, maybe. But there's no telling if he would have activated it. So instead, three have been sent to the back, just in time. And he also doesn't know of our combo because as you know as you can see i told you within the holy graph of the duelist kabbalah the key intelligence the key mind my deck is less than one percent known less than one percent played this fool doesn't know that this card is the key the linchpin to his destruction so the punishment will begin. And then he destroys my beast. Now, I'm disgusted. Yet again, I was tilted. Fool I was for not recognizing such combinations. But guess what? I'm far from done. Now that we have Gazaris, we're going to correct some mistakes. Send back our beast and use a Questus. To add back the comeback. Then link to into the SP little fight, fight, fight. Yes. SP little fight. I'm going to get you up out of here. Now get that shit up out of here. Then we're going to bring back the tamer editor. Then we're going to bring back the Hercules. And then we're going to set the end perm. Now listen. We could have went into Apollosa. Or something like that. But the reason why I didn't go into Apollosa is because I felt like that would make it too easy for him to just go into his turn and make a decision. But this guy actually makes a key blunder, which I, which I tell you again is another benefit to playing this deck and going second. Because a lot of people aren't used to playing like this or playing against somebody like this. So this guy is gonna make some blunders. But then again, this is only a blunder in hindsight given all the cards that I had. So we shall see. We shall see. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Lucky? Cooked? Outskilled? Overmatched? Let's see. All right. So our opponent draws the card and activates Rageke. Stop him, my gladiator beast. N -n 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 negate Say the N-word. Now. I'm activating my effect, dog. No, you're not. Impermanence. The gods say no. Negate. N -n -n Negate. Stop it. 
negate and add to the hand. Fractal. Right, Gecky dog. Negate. Ne it's time to ne 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 negate. Come on. Y y what are you doing? Ne negate. So now he's like, oh, fool. So now he goes in the big eye. And now he goes to take the big, the big eye. This is that part I was talking about. If you had this, if I had this in my repertoire, I might have done things a little bit differently if I was him. But then again, he is dealing with this convoluted board that I set up by having the SP Little Knight and Herc with the face down and him not knowing that I'll have multiple negates beyond his hand because he didn't count on me having an additional get negate with uh, the Tri-Brigade line. See, again, now I'm using the Tri-Brigade as the bullets. I'm using the Tri-Brigade as the shells. And now they're getting the fire. Again, I press the play button. He tries to take, I say, no, no. You've already played so many spells. Now destroy anything you like, my friend. Destroy anything you like. So he summons a big guy. He does his thing. He sets a card. He battles. He looks at the top five. Look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is the power of the deck. You don't understand exactly what's going on here. But look at how he's destroyed. Okay. So he takes Harpy's Feather Duster. He kills SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight's already done the job. And he set a card. I mean, silly Billy. So I went ahead and put Herc right here. So he knows that he can't activate it. So we're going to ahead and bring it back. Big Eye doesn't have any materials. He activates. Negate. I mean, come on, man. How many times I got to say the negate? You know what I'm saying? Stop it. All right. Then he goes for his monster's effect to look at more cards on the top of the deck. He's like, what is going on here? As he looks at the top of the deck, all he sees is doom. Doom, fate, catastrophe, uh, turmoil, strife, pain. That's all he sees. And then <laughs> it's my turn. So we're going to bring out Gazarus, pop, pop. And then it's battle time. Now, see, I respected him right here. You know what I'm saying? I just popped the monsters and went to the attack. You know, I didn't do no extra. I didn't get all flavorful. I could have. I could I, I could have. And he respectfully, you know, ended his life points right here. But you know what? I did give him the dignity of my blade. I did give him what he deserved. He tried to cast lightning on this beast twice. So it's only fair that he perishes under the axe of Hercules. These victories are so satisfying. I hope it's satisfying for you to watch. And again, I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. Hit that like button. Do it for your boy. Come on. Like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you're doing. I missed you. I like you. I love you. Hit that button. Now. Now we're playing against everybody's favorite. The uh, King Sarcophagus. You know, the uh, Msedi engine. But this is the Centurion deck. And to be real, Centurion gave me so much problem on my rank up um, in Platinum. But to be very fair um, about it, um, Centurion, you know, it's, it's okay. But it's like, it's one of those decks that, like, if you don't have the right out, it, it can out you. <laughs> Pretty much. And you can get bullied by Centurion. But he's also using the, um, you know, the Msedi engine and stuff, too. So that's also pretty good. But you guys know my rules, so... You know, I, you see what I got in my hand, so you know what I'm about to do with that thing. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with that thing. You know what I'm about to do with it. All right, so we're just going to draw. And then uh, we tried to go into the, the phase, but then he did that. So then I maxied, then he ashed. And then I thought, <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Of course, he's got to ash. And then he does this, and then he does that. And then he's going to do his little synchro. But see, but this is where I get him. This is where I get him. Or at least this is my understanding uh, of where I get him. When I go right here into this, it asks me, okay. So this is the funny thing, okay? So so basically, this, this, this card can target a monster and 
go into the synchro summit, which basically brings out the Omni Negate, the Quasar uh, Synchro Stardust, I think it's called. And basically, it asked me, did I want to go in the main phase? If I had said yes, he could have went in the Quasar, and then I couldn't play evenly. But because it asked me, did I want to go in the main phase, and I said no, continue to battle phase, going from main phase to battle phase, I'm still the uh, turn player, so I have priority. So I get the opportunity to activate cards first. So going from main phase to battle phase and not going back to main phase actually won me this duel. And me knowing that helped me to win this duel because I was able to get the first action and the first action was evenly matched. And then now he can chain. And now since that's the case, he chains here and goes into the Omni. But even though he goes into the Omni, I still get dump it. Now, I have definitely evened the score. I have evened the score. It is 4,000 attack Omni Negate versus Garnet, but not truly a Garnet because we play two. So it is 50% live. And then also Gladiator, which also makes this live. So it's about 75% live. It's 98% live when I act it, say battle, and if it actually attacks, then it's live. But this thing is a little bit live because I have this in my hand, and then I also have Karis. So this isn't a dead hand, and this is definitely like a hand that can work some magic, but I've got to rely on the combination of cards that I set long ago before I came to this duel. Those 40 cards that I set, I have to trust that the ratios are correct to clap this opponent. So I set a card face down and in my turn. I want to point out, real talk, that I'm playing with Shurig, the Ominous Omen, as my mate with Tri-Brigade sleeves on. Letting them know my full power, my boy. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. So here he goes into his shenanigans. Oh, my God. You know how this goes. Not good. So... Because he spent all those good resources on the first turn, he just doesn't have a lot to do this turn. He's got a lot of things he could potentially do, but he doesn't have another first turn combo. He doesn't have another. He doesn't have it in him unless he drew that um, the sarcophagus card to get these going. So basically, we're in a good position. He attacks. Sand Knight is destroyed, and we're attacked directly. And now, the door. Okay, look, we've got Harpy's Feather Duster, and we've got two Tri-Brigades. We've got a normal summon and a special, and we've got Augustus in hand. We can win this duel. Harpy's Feather Duster, negate. Okay, didn't know it was gonna be that easy. You can just start playing it right now. All right. How dare you insult me? How dare you insult me by playing the uh oh, you're in trouble music when he does his thing to pop my monster? You see, not even the game can acknowledge my genius. But soon, soon everyone will see the power of my gladiator beaks. Now, he destroys my monster and draws. And because he did activate the Ash Blossom, <laughs> we know that he ain't got it in his hand. The only way that he can stop us now is if he's already drawn it or obtained the Maxi off that one draw he just got. Did he get it? Probability says probably not. I'm banishing four cards to test. Here's the ominous O man. Oh man, banish. Now, link two. Come on. Baron Blossom and ominous search. Shokun. Archetypal summon. Archetypal summon. We've used our normal summon. We've used our special summon. And now, archetypal summon. I'm banishing two. Whoa, look at that. 
Look at that. We can threaten. We can push the gladiator combo in different ways. With this ability, we have the power to bait. And with the power to bait, we can get a 70% or better win rate. Attack my beast. And then we can initiate some punishment. Now, you know my combination. Yes. Now, what's now what's the interesting thing about this combo is I have no cards in hand, so Herc will come to the field with no powers. But basically, the way I set it up, that's not a problem. Check it out. But we're still going to make sure we come with enough juice to stop whatever he's trying to do. All right. So now we go into Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. And then we also go into um, um, IP, I mean, SP, Little Knight. Then we're going to use the comeback to bring back the Tamer Editor for another day of games. Return, my beast. Open up for Hercules. Now, look. Now we've got this guy, Cosmic Blades, our dragon. It's the Battle of the Negates. Who's going to negate what? Who's going to play what? Who's going to be the fool to trigger what? When? Where? How is it going to happen? And does YT Dan know the correct negation combination to get rid of the Cosmic Blades or Dragon forever? Let's find out. But, uh, so the opponent draws and enters battle. Now, look at him. He thinks he's so cool. He thinks he's so intelligent. He thinks he's so smart. He thought, he thought it, that he could go into battle and just attack my SP little fight. <laughs> little fight with you. You can't do it. You can't do it. You see, because in the field of battle, in the Colosseum of Rome, there is a beast known as Domitianus, Domitian. Do you know what a Dominus is? Lord and master. And I would say there's only room on the field for one Lord and master. So there must be a duel between Domitianus and the Cosmic Blazer. So first the Cosmic Blazer tries to invoke his will by using battle to destroy my SP Little Knight. Domitian blocks. As lord and master, he determines the tides of battle. Let's go. Then he summons a little bug to try to get his little scheme going. But we don't like bugs. The only bugs we like is roaches. Now, we're going to use an arrow from the quiver to negate his nature. And then he falls foolishly for the bait. And uses the Cosmo Blazer's power to duck and attack. Now, he's trying to stop the arrow so selflessly with his body. But remember, Domitian, Domitianus, Dominus, Lord and Master of the Negate, Lord and Master of the Field, Domitian. Please, render your judgment against the cosmos. Negate. All right, my boys. I'm calling this Neo Gladiator Beast as we are running the Gladiator Beast Sam Knight combo with Rescue Cat, which helps us to use Gladiator Beast Sam Knight uh, to go into Dragasis, which is our one card combo, which lets you get our fantastic, amazing, and beautiful inboard of Gladiator Beast. It allows us to execute our one card combo at a time when our opponent's one card combo has been reduced, diminished, destroyed, or completely, you know, obliterated, like that Cash Tira player. 
So um, as I'm going into this, you know, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these ratios. Um, one of the things I've learned is, you know, again, we got to get rid of these back row, these back row cards. So you're running one, two, three, four, five uh, back row cards. Uh, pretty much, I think what happened as I was playing through the rank matches, I remember thinking um, that it was less back row. Even when people play Centurion, it was Centurion with a bunch of stuff on the field like monsters. So because I was kind of leaning heavier into that, I decided to go for two card pairing um, like ratios, like two card pairing scenarios. So basically I'm looking for two cards to come together within my hand traps or board breakers because by either weakening my opponent's start and then playing a board breaker or outright just playing a board breaker for all monsters for something like Dark Rune No More, I can get more advantage on one or two of the trades. And if I get advantage on the trades, when I pop off the Gladiator Beast combo, I can pretty much take down anything. As you saw, um, you know, you can even take down high resource heavy decks like Cash Terra. So, you know, basically it's all down to your imagination, how you put it together. And uh, we use Rescue Cat to make sure that we can facilitate one card combos primarily through Rescue Cat into Sam Knight or you can use Fractal's Effect, which can help you get in deeper into your line, of course. And then, um, you know, summon Rescue Cat and then that's good Ash Bait or whatever they have. And then Carrot's Effect to Special Summon. But, you know, there is one more thing that we can use to expand this deck. And I'm, I'm, I'm like Piccolo right now. I'm saving that like Special Beam Cannon for the final duel. But uh, catch me in the next one, my boy. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, check out the rest of the video. Here's a little bonus action for you, you bell lovers. So we got the one for one going and I activate maximum C. Going second, very good. And then he activates side frame gear gamma. This actually was the first duel after changing my deck and putting in hand traps. I almost went back to go second. <laughs> I almost got rid of every hand trap. I almost just didn't play because right after this is just got worse. I was so tilted. He gets the free summon. He gets two cards from me. And that's just, I mean, you can't beat that. So basically he took Maxi and he took um, a tri brigade by name, which was incredible for the hand that I had. And then, you know, you know, he combo, 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 do, 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 which again, not really never a problem never a problem not even an issue but what makes it an issue is we don't get into anything that can affect him or the graveyard or anything and obviously that becomes a problem look at this this is just absolutely ridiculous so again this is one of those games where you kind of just gotta uh have the out and i didn't have the out so two didn't have the outs number one didn't draw any back row removal phenomenal based off of what you saw in my opening hand not a single card that can affect back row so you see how many cards i run for back row um as i just showed you the deck list and um yeah this is uh <laughs> this ain't it so what's going on here is i'm i'm just gonna get cooked but i'm gonna try to play through it anyway because i know one of the known cards is uh the is this one of the known cards is this, and that's a pop. So basically, I'm just like, why not? You know, I'm, I'm going to play through it. Dark Ruler No More, Summon, Link One, this literal terrible hand. And then and part of part way as I'm playing through this, I'm like, why does my hand seem in such a deficit? Like, I, I, like I was so upset. I had forgot about the Cyframe Gear Gamma. I was so tilted. This is like, you know, I was so tilted. I was so tilted. But, um, you know, this is, again, one of those outlier games. And, again, it's got the Graveyard um stuff going on so again that's that's always my weakness graveyard effects and then also getting tilted with cyframe gear gamma then i get the card back and then at this point he does it again and then he just begins to combo now i think i got tilted and just decided to just say fuck it and that was one thing i decided when i'm playing through these ranks like as i'm uh leveling up and playing through like sure i'll play it out but you know when it's obvious like that especially from the outset with stuff like gamma just go. Bye.